G'day folks, new option today, come back to a place that I fished many many years ago, it's been so long ago now that um, I've got pretty vague memories of what it was like, well actually my memory of what it was like was that there were low numbers of fish but um, beautiful setting, so um, yeah it's going to be interesting to see what we find today, we're right up in the headwaters of this system. Yeah so we're on the first pool here and um, it's a beautiful run actually, love the colour of the rocks in the stream too. So it'll be interesting to see how that transpires into the colour of the fish. So uh, Kenyon's uh, drawn the first draw. He's got, a, he's got a dry fly rig on and a little nook as well. So I'm picking that this. It's got to be a fish in here. Yeah, in there. It's a it's a nice pocket. I'm sure there'll be something sitting in there. Yes, on the dry. <laughs> I'll come over there and help you land it. Might be easier said than done. Yes. First fish of the year on the dry fly. That's yeah, awesome. Solid little rainbow too. Yep. Took the nymph. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I just had a hook up in there. He's taken off. Oh yeah, he's taken my rig. I put the brakes, try to put the brakes on him because he... Yeah, 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 yeah. He was going straight for those snags over there. So I really tried to put the brakes on him. That was pretty awesome. That was um, beautiful water through here. Um, had a good hookup. Uh, took the nymph on the dry fly nymph rig, so I took the nymph and um, yeah, I just uh, it was going straight for the snags over the other side, so I tried putting the brakes on that fish and um, uh, busting me off. That's a good start though, yeah, some really nice water in here. Yeah, there's a nice little pocket over there where you'd, yeah, just in there, you'd think there'd be fish sitting in there. Getting drag, yeah, that's the key is to try and prevent that drag, isn't it? A little bit of brownie. Oh, a little brownie. You gonna grab it? You want the net?
All right, good job. Nice rainbow. Boy, he doesn't want to waste any energy. Look at that. Must have been 20 seconds from hookup to the net <laughs> Solid rainbow, but it um, wasn't in, in very good condition. It's obviously been through spawning. It's got some um, spawning scars on it, so um, the book didn't put up much of a fight, but it um, really stood out in this pool because it's um, just the light coloured bottom on the pool. So probably the best pool we've come to so far. I just thought there might be another fish in here, so I'm just fishing it out. It's a brownie, are they? Brown. Or oh, rainbow. Rainbow. He's hot. <laughs> they got a bit of pep to them, these fish. Yeah. Oh yes. That's a solid rainbow. It's a good fish. Got a lot of bite to them. Right, we've got a fish feeding away. Just off the end of this um, branch coming into the water here. Just out in there too. Oh, nice cast, nice cast. Oh, yes! Oh! oh. No. <laughs> he oh. took the dry. Oh no! <laughs> I spooked him with that. Oh. Oh. oh, that's what you dream of. He so came cool. up, he came up and took yeah. it. Yeah. We've got this fish, <laughs> it's sitting right in front of that rock out there, right on the bottom. We thought we'd spooked him before, but um, he's moving around a bit, but um, he's taking the fly. It's pretty tough in this fast water. So that was pretty cool, it was, uh, the fish was sitting in there right in front of that rock out there. It's, quite fast um, bouldery uh, flowing water so probably didn't really expect to see a fish sitting there. Um, we are finding that the fish in here are a little bit beat up from spawning so that one was really skinny. Still had a lot of energy though when we let it go. Just spotted what I think is a fish. It's down in midstream here it's just um, there's a little bit of a channel coming through. Oh yeah he's moved. Taking something. It's definitely a fish. Buddy. take that fish a little while before it was interested in the fly. I don't know whether it was just me getting the, um, the nymph and, and the dry fly in the right place for the fish to actually see the fly or not, I don't know. It seems to take um, quite a few casts for it to actually take. That was, whoa! It's got some toe. Oh no! 
Don't do that! Oh! Yeah, I mean, that's prime water in there. You expect there to be fish in there, definitely. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of water in there. And there's a dark shape down in there. Yeah, that'll cover it, yeah. That ain't cool. A couple of smudges, so yeah. So there could be a couple of fish in there. Yeah. Where it landed is about uh, where where the one I'm looking at is sitting. So. That was a dry. Oh, that was a big boy too. After the dry. You take the dry. Took the nymph. Awesome. It's a good fish. Oh really? It's a good fish, that's a, that's a fish of the day. That's awesome. Oh, it's awesome fish, all right. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, you can't put that in the water. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> wow. I had an awesome day going up this uh, beautiful stream, pristine water. It's really um, wilderness in here. Um, yeah, actually the um, stream's got quite a um, bit of a different character to it with the colour of the rocks and all that, but it's an awesome place. Um, caught a lot of fish, I sort of lost count of um, how many fish we caught. Quite a mixture of um, uh, fish up to maybe three pound or so and um, some smaller fish as well and a mixture of species. We had a couple of browns thrown in there too. Got a couple of fish, or quite a few fish actually, to come up and take the dry. So just on the, the hike back now, Got about a kilometre to go back to the car. Bit of a mission. Cool, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. I'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers.